Hello, my name is Everest, and I am a software developer for a company called LifeRay. We're based out of Diamond Bar, California, which is located in Southern California. And when I started with this company, I actually started as a um, consultant, and I have a Java background. And when I jumped into the Objective-C world, um, touching a little more on iOS and the Mac OS X, it was definitely a big learning step for me to actually pick up on the new syntax and the ways that um, Objective-C does things. As a Java developer, I had used IntelliJ extensively as one of the other consultants had um, convinced me that it was the ultimate IDE. So as I started using it, I started learning all the shortcuts. And if you're used to IDEs, you know what I'm talking about. What was great about um, just trying out app code because um, knowing that they come from IntelliJ and that it uses a lot of the same features, I was able to use all of my same keyboard shortcuts. And actually, let me just, I just want to show you my favorite part real quick. So let me just open up the one of these files. So this is for a iOS 7 sample. Um, that and it contains quite a few of the new features. So let me just pull it up on the simulator. And, all right, so this is it right here. So right here, if I scroll through this list, it'll actually give me a few of these different samples that I can kind of see what goes on. And so you can see what it does. And so that's what the app does. Let me go into the storyboard and just to show you it's just a regular master in detail view. And so now if I go back to app code, one of the things as a new Objective-C developer was say I have this view did load and it can be any function. I just wanted to show some of these really cool things. So I have this items Oh, let me do self.items, which is this right here. And one of the cool things is, kind of like Java, I can actually use dot notation to pull up a lot of things, like this object at, in, at index, which is very standard. If I hit enter, it'll actually put it into that message format. And so that made it a lot easier for me to actually know how to do it more correctly and because it would pull up the correct code for me. And so that's one of the major features I love about this. Now, another thing is, say I was back here and I'm just, I got my integer. As soon as I want to just finish this line, I would hold Command Shift and hit Return. It'll finish that line for me. Um, so if, say I had a bunch of these, these different things where I can just so I'm just going to have random objects in here. Actually, let me even show you this. With a string, what's really cool is I can actually just open the quotes and it'll automatically put the at symbol right there for me and then type in whatever I'm trying to do. And I'm just going to do a few more just random objects as if they were the actual things. Um, but. The autocomplete is great because it is fuzzy searching. So it will actually, if I do self.items and I'm looking for the same thing, I just do A capital O and it'll pull up all those things. And you can even see in this entry right here, it doesn't have to be in order. So this array by adding object requires usually in Xcode, I would type um, array and then it'd give me the highlights. And you can tab each of those words within the camel case. Right here, I can actually just pull something up like this very simply finish that line same shortcut um, command shift enter go right down say order mattered I can actually hold command shift hit up and then move it right up there and just like that and even you can see this self dot items a lot of the times if you're doing something like um, putting an image with some type of select or whatever, it'll even autocomplete those for you. Now, if I wanted to 
Same thing if I just do NS log, NS log, hit tab, and then I just open the quote, so it just have that ready for me. I would say I want the an object right there, and I just want a oops, simple yes, and I it just make my makes my workflow go quite a bit faster than usual. As if I moved over to Xcode right here, <clears throat> go to Master View Controller. So you can see these things in the same way in a slug. And then if I just type the quote, it doesn't do anything for me. So I'd do everything manually. I want something like that. <clears throat> and then just type in my digit. And then I can move to the end, type in semicolon manually. And so that's just, you know, a few other features, but it makes it really easy when I need to learn, um, figure out the different um, functions, different methods that different classes or um, instantiated objects contain. So now another thing is now, um, let's see, let me go into my detail view controller, or actually Master View Controller is good. Let me go straight into the .h file. Say I was going to something like UI Table View Delegate or Data Source. Say I'm just thinking this is a data source. Obviously, it's not. But now I go in here. I hit Command I. I have the full implementation of that UI Data Source, so I can see what I need. And especially coming from Java, name conventions are a little different. So this actually makes it easier for me to search and. Say I know something, it would have to have section in it. See that syntax highlighting right there for all these things I can implement. And when I'm just hitting down, it actually skips just to those selections, which is really cool. And so now I just got that implemented like that and so forth. Now if, let's see. Well, I guess those are the really the main functions. And you can explore, and the more you do, um, it just becomes very fast. Um, and then I just switch back to Xcode, run the program, no, I save it. And then I have all my different things in there. And then those were the random things I had I did an NS log for. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, those are really the main features that I love. And just the syntax highlighting, even say I double click on this UI table, it'll give me. Um, syntax highlighting for all the instances within that class. Um, and right now I'm a big fan of Sublime, so I have Sublime colors for both my IDEs, for both Xcode and AppCode. Um, and yeah, I think those are really the main features that sell it for me, and big fan of IntelliJ, especially um, how I can refactor things really easily. <clears throat> and, yeah, um, if, if you have any other questions, you know, go ahead and comment. Otherwise, you can definitely check out AppCode at the JetBrains website, and they do come with a 30-day trial, and after that, you can use it for half an hour t at a time um, before it quits out. But otherwise, I would say it's worth every penny. And I, Coming from Java and IntelliJ, I definitely love it much more than Xcode. And obviously, if I'm just doing something like on my attributes and whatnot, then I would just go back into Xcode for all these different things right here, build settings and whatnot, storyboard. Um, as that stuff hasn't um, quite been implemented exactly into AppCode. AppCode's more for my coding features and whatnot. Um, yeah, so thanks a lot, and you guys have a great day.